Hey guys, welcome back. It's Miss Cassidus again. You know what time it is. Take out those textbooks, notebooks, and, or binders. Don't forget to also sign into the online platform at hmh.trinity.org or org. All right, let's begin by writing our name and date. Also remember to write English, English class, or Mrs. Cassidus English class, whichever you prefer. Grade and section, your topic, our objective for today is to conduct research on photographic or video hoaxes. And our I can statement is I can recognize real news and fake news. So remember, if you need more time to jot this down, you can always come back to my YouTube channel, pause the video as long as you like to get every little bit of info that you feel is necessary. Okay, so we've read the story, the camera does lie. We've done our check your understanding. We've answered all of the questions. Now it's time to analyze the text a little bit. So in the first question, it says, infer, reread each of the section headings. What do they suggest about one of the author's purposes for writing? Remember we talked about this before. Excuse me, an author can have more than one purpose. So based on these section headings, what do you think could be one of the purposes the author has for writing this article? Moving on to question number two. Cite evidence. How does graphing camera shake reveal fake videos? Cite evidence from the text in your answer. You guys are looking for context clues here. You're going to look for info directly from the article that you will mold into your own answer for this question. Three, analyze the text. Synth synthesize. Review paragraphs 2 and 21. Careful, you're only going to look at paragraph 2 and paragraph 21, not 2 all the way to 21, just those two paragraphs, paragraph 2 and paragraph 21. What reasons does the author provide for why fake videos are made and why some become viral? So you skim those two paragraphs, you summarize what you found as your answer, and you type it in here. Question four, interpret. Reread the last sentence of the camera does lie. Why might the author have spent time talking about ways to tell whether a video is real? Cite evidence to support your response. Just like we said a while back, which is like a minute ago, you got to take information, context clues from the writing and make it into your own for you to respond to this question. Finally, notice a note in paragraph two. How does the author highlight the contrast and contradiction between two examples of reliable information found on the internet and three sketchy examples? Basically, you, are, you have to figure out how the author compares these two things so you can find the similarities and the differences between them. Okay, once you guys are done with that, remember to hit the check button right up here and send it to Ms. Cassidis. Now, let's talk about your research assignment. Uncover another example or two of a photographic or video hoax. Also find an explanation of any techniques used to create such a deceptive image. In the chart, record what you learn in your research. Now remember to always look at the research tip because this helps you a lot so you don't have to go through so many websites to find a good answer. When you're doing research, be sure to stay on topic. With a topic such as photographic or video hoaxes, it would be easy to get distracted and to spend your time looking at example after example. Remember that your topic is not just the hoax itself, but also how it was made. So that's what you guys are going to find, and you're going to write in here. You're going to write the title of the hoax. For example, let's say if you were doing Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster or UFO sightings or you know, Area 51, uh, deceptive techniques, what techniques were used to deceive us as readers or as believers of these hoax. Now, you can also connect to it by going to paragraph 11 and 20. The author describes several ways that people analyze videos to determine whether they are authentic. That is, if the videos depict things that actually could happen. So in our class, we're going to take turns describing the video hoaxes that we found and we're going to discuss ways we can analyze those videos to expose them as hoaxes. We're going to try to figure out, you guys, together, as a group, how we can make people see that these things are not real, that they're just hoaxes. You know, that's not an easy thing to do. 
And I'm pretty sure you guys have found a lot of these different hoaxes and you haven't even like realized it. So what I want you guys to do is once you have all of that information, you're going to create a chart in your Word document, in Word document, or you can do a Google slide presentation with a minimum of three slides to a maximum of five slides on the hoaxes that you found on the internet. And we're also going to do a breakout room where you guys are going to talk about as a group, how we can analyze these videos, break them down and expose them for the hoaxes that they are, for the lies that they are, because they're not, oops, sorry, they're not real. We know that already. So we're going to figure out as a group how to do that. This is going to be real fun. I can't wait for when we do it in class. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Take your time, answer your questions, and make sure to send them to me once you're done. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.